back here to live now from Fox. Uh, I'm Andrew Kraft. Thanks for being with us here. Let's move into some of these other key international headlines, a follow-up to uh, one of these major stories we brought you just yesterday. A live picture there uh, on the Israeli-Lebanese border uh, at this point in time. Well, this is what we know. Walkie-talkies and solar equipment exploded in Beirut and other parts of Lebanon today in an apparent second wave of attacks targeting devices a day after pagers used by Hezbollah blew up, injuring thousands of Hezbollah fighters. At least 14 people were killed, and more than 450 were wounded in the second wave here. So uh, this is a story uh, that keeps going. Fox News correspondent Nate Foy has more from the region. A second wave of explosions in Lebanon, this time coming from handheld radios used by Hezbollah terrorists. Here you see several detonate in Beirut. This blast interrupted a funeral for three terrorists killed yesterday. A senior U.S. official tells Fox Israel is behind the explosions that took their lives. Israel embedded explosive devices in pagers delivered to Hezbollah terrorists in recent months. With more communication devices compromised today, Israel's infiltration of Hezbollah's supply chain is clear. Israel it, it, uh, uh, will spend a decade uh, developing sources using human intelligence and signal intelligence uh, uh, to be able to infiltrate uh, the, the, the highest ranks of Hezbollah. Lebanon's health minister says at least 32 people are dead and more than 3,200 others wounded from both rounds of explosions. Hamas extended support for Hezbollah, writing, quote, we strongly condemn the renewed and ongoing Zionist aggression against the brotherly Lebanese people. Overnight, Israeli airstrikes hit several Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon. A top Israeli battalion arrived near the Lebanese border. Defense Minister Yoav Gallant said Israel is entering a new phase of the war, and the IDF is ready. Hezbollah is again vowing revenge against Israel. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is promising a more secure northern border. The cop, People will turn the residents of the north securely to their homes. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with Egyptian leaders today, reiterating that the U.S. didn't know about any attack on Hezbollah beforehand. It's yeah, imperative right. that everyone uh, avoid taking steps that could further escalate or spread the conflict. The leader of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, is scheduled to make a speech tomorrow. Until then, all eyes will be on the northern border as Israel awaits the retaliation for both rounds of explosions. In Tel Aviv, Nate Foy, Fox News. Nate, thanks so much. Uh, let's bring into the conversation uh, our trusty guide here for all of these stories. Of course, uh, that's national security analyst and expert uh, and retired Marine Intelligence Officer Hal Kemper. He joins me. Uh Fire next time. James Baldwin, one of the most powerful writings that of our lifetime, the fire next time, because, you know, there's a lot of distractions going on, y'all, with Puffy and Duffy and all the rest of the craziness. But this is the real stuff happening right now. The stuff that can destroy our world as we know it. Lebanon, Beirut. And this problem with Israel, I mean, this this has got to stop. I don't want to hear no more that crap. Uh, Israeli has a right to defend themselves, and uh, uh, let, let's be clear: let the, they everybody have a right to defend themselves first and foremost. The only people that are not granted that is uh, those of us civilians. Okay, and this is just for those of y'all who keep saying stuff like, we got to fight this beast. We got to, this beast got so many weaponry and so much weaponry, we don't know where to start. Having microwave ovens that can fry you from 100 feet out to having walkie-talkies that explode in the hands with pagers and using the apparatuses that we use every day to communicate to basically blow us up with. 
It's only a matter of time, y'all. It's only a matter of time. This, to me, is, that's coming down, this is very, very, very crucial. And um, we got to pay attention, family. We can't get lost in the sauce. We have to pay attention to these walkie-talkie explosions in Lebanon. You know, um, and this was a day after the pager attack. This is very, very, very serious. You know, and I mean extremely serious. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video. And stay woke. Stay vigilant, family. Stay woke.